hi, we're back. And our first guest today is something that you don't see very often and so wonderful. His name is Frank Jackson, and happy happy to have you here. Glad to be here. And uh, but it sounds really exciting to me, this stuff that you have. Did you make all of this? Yes. Oh, my gosh. And you... You have to, what do you have to do to finish them off? Did they have a, you say forge here, is that where you yeah, work? Yeah, so I have a forge, mm -hmm. and so I get the metal hot. Then when it's hot, it's malleable, and then I forge it into different shapes. Oh my gosh, I, I can you hold this one up? This is fantastic. This one? No, this one here, that is really, look at that, is that beautiful? This is armor that I made from a horse increase that I had for a bunch of years. That is beautiful. I've never seen that. That's a horse's face, isn't it? Yeah. It's called a chaffron. <laughs> oh, gosh. And I he would wear this in parade. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Poor we, thing. We, yeah. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be too heavy for a horse. No, not for him. He was a big old horse. Oh, that's a that's, picture of him in the background with him wearing is, it. I love that. Oh, oh, look at him. That good look at that. Oh, my gosh. we got to fly in here. <laughs> I'm going to try to ignore it. Okay, that is board. Let's let's talk about this one. This is really interesting. Yeah, this is a sculpture I made called DNA Sundial. And I forged it and then twisted it and cut it. And oh, my gosh. That's amazing. And it weighs a ton and a half. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Steel? Is it steel? Steel, yeah. Good Lord. What's, what is this? And this thing? is... A, this is a little knob, like a cabinet knob, and this is a door handle that I made. I made it oh, out of hexagon steel, beautiful. and I twisted it and then reverse twisted it. Oh my gosh, let me put that where you get See, that twisting is so beautiful. Can you see it, or am I in the wrong? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? My gosh, whatever started you to do this this time well i moved to california in 1988 and i started shoeing horses and then on wednesday nights we'd go learn how to make horseshoes <laughs> and after i made two it just wasn't very fun to me and then the guy that i apprenticed with ruled darling he he made a horse head and i said show me how to make that and he's and he'd show you how to make anything so <laughs> and then in the winter time things would slow down with shoeing and then i'd do iron work and then i always study to try to better myself and increase my ability. Uh -huh. I study books on the masters and. Oh, that's interesting. My husband got most of his art training in out of books too. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful if you really put your mind to it. Yeah, because I see a lot of people. I believe they have a lot of natural ability, and then you have the ability to increase that ability. Yeah, and that's that's what you got to do, uh, mm -hmm. right? Because time goes by, a lot of people waste their time on drugs or drinking or <sighs> watching TV. Good Lord. And yeah, yeah. That's the thing that really, I guess, I can't even think why would people would do that to themselves. It just. No, and it, it's sad. Cause I, like, and I rode bulls for a bunch of years. Ooh. And, and, uh, and I saw a lot of people that had a lot of natural ability, but either they had negativity or they had work, messed, messed up their life with drinking or drugs. And that is such a shame. Isn't that a shame? Yeah. Oh, uh, but sometimes you can just work as hard and be get and still not get get where you want to go. But at least you know you have tried, and yeah. you put everything you've got into it. I know you've got other things we can look at too here. Oh, uh, <gasps> this is oh, my this is a gosh. cross that I made. <gasps> that is fabulous. Oh, I wow. made that. That is fantastic. And I make a lot of crosses, and I make all kinds of things. Oh gosh! Oh, you've got something else. I make, I make a lot of things out of horseshoes. Here's a heart that I made. Oh, out of a horseshoe? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And here's a fleur de lis. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just, oh, the French fleur de lis. Just, yeah, there you can see it. Well, that that's the background. Oh, that's gorgeous. Well, and tell then, me, when did you? Uh, when did you start actually being interested? You say when you started making small things. Okay, all my life I've been. I always did painted and or not painted, but drew and painted. Oh, that's what I wanted to know. Yeah. yeah. So you're an artist from the time you were young. Yeah, and, and horses mostly uh, <laughs> inspired me, and animals, and and then later landscapes. And there's just so many. The beauty of nature is just oh. so. 
Fantastic. And then also... Did bring any of your paintings? Now, here's some books that my artwork's been in. Oh, good lord. Ironwork today. I've been in five books, a German, a British, and four American magazines. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. And then... Oh, look, you got something. What is this? This is Fireplace, or this is Ironwork Today 3. Wow. And I think this is the one where they put my horse in. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, this yeah. was not... This oh, is this really, is your cross. Yeah. That's this beautiful. is a cross that I made, and then a mirror, and then a, a bookshelf. <laughs> that must be so much fun. And here's another book that my ironwork's been in, Ironwork Today, Dynamic Details. I'm so glad you came in because how, no, how many people think of ironwork as an art? Yeah. And it is, it's total art. And fireplace accessories. Oh, wow. Beautiful, just beautiful. So, and then, go ahead. And then they put my artwork in a British and a German magazine, which was a great <laughs> honor. I uh, guess so. German magazine's called Hephaestos, which is uh, the German word for uh, Vulcan. The, oh, yeah, the and, Vulcan. And then Artist Blacksmith, the, the English ones, because both of those countries in Spain have wonderful artists, all countries, but especially those. Oh, you've got to be really good to go into their... Uh, <laughs> really, you do, because they're fantastic artists over there. And if yeah. they want your art in there, you, you've got it made, mister. <laughs> <laughs> and then my, my horse armor got put in there, and they said I was going to go around like a medieval Jesse James. around. <laughs> <laughs> tell me... Uh, oh, gee, I just I forgot what I wanted to tell me. Um, the, did you bring any uh, pictures of, of your actual painting, or did you do that? You just bring no, them? I don't. I don't have none. Of, I don't like uh, my paintings and my drawings. They weren't really that great. Oh well, they they um, weren't up to your. Yeah, no, but <laughs> but then really, I really tried to increase with my uh, with my ironwork. I remember what I was going to ask you. A really important question. Where do people get the buy these things from you? Okay, on Frank Jackson Forge on Etsy, eBay, and Amazon Handmade, and and then my numbers here. And if you call me, I'll make things, and I can make. If you want things made like gates, I can't make. I, mine's it's gonna be more expensive than the just the ones that are cut and welded. You know where they mm -hmm. buy a bunch of parts and weld together because it's time. But if you want something nice. Or, you know, not to send other people's things on that. We want something different. Yes, that's for sure. Anybody will want something for their fireplace, or if they have a special front door, they will want something beautiful. So there's a lot of people could use this uh, type of thing. And, and then I'll always try to make things for people that I love. <laughs> you know, and, and, and when I make something, I try to put love into it. Oh, well, that is everything. <laughs> what is there besides love? Yeah. My father and I used he just the same as me. If you said, if you mention love, he'd cry. I do the same thing. Anything comes on television, I don't cry. <laughs> just the word alone. Yeah. Uh, did, uh, she wanted to say. He made his tie. He made his tie. Oh, <laughs> we well, almost forgot to tell you he made yeah. his tie. Can you believe that? Yeah. Look at that. <gasps> yeah. This is a tie I made out of chain mail. I don't want to make any more chain mail. <laughs> it's real tedious. <laughs> I admire people that do it. I think you like the bigger stuff, huh? Yeah. I can start getting pound <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, you got to get yourself <laughs> working in there. Well, gee, I'm so glad you came in today. And uh, I pe people, this is very easy to get. You go into the computer, the, as he says, uh, Frank Jackson's Forge, right? Mm -hmm. At dot com, is it? No, no, it's just on eBay and Etsy oh, and eBay Amazon and Etsy. Handmade. Okay, it's easy for getting in touch with him. And that, take my word for it, these are absolutely beautiful, outstanding. And we're so glad we had you today. And <laughs> Thank oh, you. Please, for please come back again. Oh, I'll come we back. like people to get you know you and see. And we, okay. I'm sure you got a lot of oh, beautiful stuff. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. I can bring my horse in here, too. <laughs> oh, my God, I'd love that. <laughs> Thank you so much, You're welcome. Frank. Thank you. Okay. We'll be right back.